Hey everybody, what's up? This is Sala, and today I'm going to explain the parse method in C sharp. So press on your seatbelt, relax, and enjoy the show. So let's first look at the definition of the parse method. The parse method is used to convert the string representation back to the .NET types. So from the definition, one thing is very clear. It's a method for conversion, and it converts the string back to the different .NET types like integer, uh, floating point numbers, characters, boolean, enums, and date and time, right? So all of these are .NET types. Now, one question that might come in your mind is that why do we do conversions between different types? A simple answer to the question is that our applications are designed to send or receive string type data because it is easy to send in bits stream, hide, manipulate, decrypt, etc. Right? So our systems or external data sources send or receive data in string form. So when you receive the string type data and programming in any language, not only in the C sharp, you have access to a lot of methods to, to convert the string to different type or to manipulate the string or to break the string into pieces and so on. So as a programmer, you will work almost all the time with the string and the conversions. Now, coming back to the Windows form. Windows form is also such application that provides string type data. Let's say if you provide uh, the integer value 10 to the text box, but in the code, you won't get that numeric value. What you will get, you will get the string equivalent of that value. And the same is true for the other types like floating point numbers, boolean characters, date and time, enums, right? So to convert the string equivalent of these types back to their original types, we need to call the parse method. So that was a bit of explanation. Let's now jump to the code and see how do we code it. So to the application interface, I have a text box which will be used to get different type of data. So let's go inside the code now. Let's start with the integer type. I want to get the integer value from the text box and store that value uh, in a variable. So I need a integer variable. And now I will call the parse method with integer because I want to convert the text box value uh, into integer, right? So in this example, data uh, in the text box is sent to the parse method for conversion and when the conversion is successful uh, the numerical data is assigned to that variable right now we can print this variable out to check if this is working or not for what the integer type data let's say 12 click on the button and here we see and that means a variable is filled with the data we are getting from the text box right now let's say if you want to read the floating point number uh, instead of the uh, integer so you will definitely first uh, create a floating point variable and now you will call the parse method uh, with double right like this and if you are reading the uh, character type, then you will definitely uh, create a character variable. And now you will call the parse method uh, with character. Run the program. And uh, put a character, click. And here you see, right? So we are getting the character uh, in the PM. Now, if you want to read the Boolean, then uh, we create a Boolean variable. Now you will call the pass together with the Boolean into the pass method. You will pass the data conversion, right? Of the PM. Quite a Boolean. Wait, what was that? Pass 
and here you see right so we are getting the boolean in the pdm so you have seen the parse method in action with four different types now i will show you the typical side of this method this method is not always the best choice to use because the parse method throws exceptions exceptions are runtime errors and when they occurs program stops working so the parse method throws exceptions whenever data provided to it is invalid and can't be converted to the respective data type now for example uh, let me first activate the first line of code so if i provide the data to the text box which cannot be converted uh, to the integer uh, the parse method is uh, gonna throw the exception so let's now run the program and check it out so if i provide number 12 it's fine right but if i provide 12.5 it's not good because 12.6 is not the integer type data it's a floating point number right so let's press the button and see here we have the exceptions and the name of the exception is format exception so whenever you see the format exception you must know that data provided to the parse method is invalid and you see our program is halted and i must terminate the application and the same is true uh, when you provide uh, for example uh, characters okay so you will get the exception format exception even if you uh, leave this text box empty because when you leave the text box empty an empty string is delivered to the program an empty string cannot be converted into the integer so let's see what will happen if i press the button and here you see again the format exception so format is a one kind of exception if you read the documentation of parse method uh, you will see uh, it actually throws several different uh, kinds of exceptions so be careful with the use of parse method uh, in c sharp there is another method which is more secure than the parse method and uh, that method is try parse so i will try to cover that method uh, sometime in the future so friends that was all about the use of the parse method and i hope uh, this explanation is going to help you out I will see you around in some other tutorial. Thanks for watching.